Hello everyone, we are in Jasper, Indiana, and this is the Geo Grotto that was built by some monks back several in the, in the early 20th century. And I thought I would share it with you today. So we're just gonna do a little walking tour of it. There's the end of it. It's literally sitting right in the middle of town you can see in the in the distance the uh, courthouse clock in the back of it. But we're going to do a little walking tour of the Geo Grotto. See, it's just right in the middle of town. Gentleman out mowing his grass. I don't want to take a picture of that. Give him his privacy. these planters we're just coming out of winter so maybe as the season continues to warm up they will add flowers someone has to put a little light in it light to light, it looks like. This is just really pretty. I don't know if the, the camera is capturing the beauty of it as much as it is seeing it in person. Definitely recommend coming to see it. Benches for you to sit on and enjoy the... This was all done by hand, like I said, by some monks. And I believe he had the town collecting the geos for him so that he could just make it on his little project. Beautiful grand entryway. It is handicap accessible, as you can see. so you get the full view of it. Well, they are starting to put some flowers in everything, as you can see. They're starting to come out. Look at this. What an amazing surprise.
that shell up there. Wonder where that shell came from. Geos. How much time it must have taken them or him to do this. They've got designs and they even in the sidewalk. It's beautiful. Of course, it lights up at night. Come up on the altar. Flowers up there. Step back here in the grass a little bit so we can get this beautiful altar. come up and do a close-up of it. That archway is beautiful. I want to show you the ceiling. Look at, look at the intricate work on the floor. And now coming in. Is that not beautiful? Oh my goodness. Beautiful altar. It is still actively used. You can come and you can do a prayer request. You can make a donation. Oops, don't want to show the people's names. But here is the information about the God grotto. In 1930, Benedict monks of St. Men Menrad closed the Jasper College to open the Merriman Academy in Aurora, Illinois. Three years later, Fort Alexander Cholowski of the Sons of Divine Providence brought the property with a large building, which had been a preparatory boarding school since 1895 and turned it into a home for handicapped men. Handball courts in the back of the former college would no longer be needed, so Friar Philip Octave, the successor of Friar Alexander, had an idea of creating something beautiful and spiritual to take its place. Friar Philip had heard of the Grotto of Lourdes, France, where a peasant girl was visited by an apparition of the Virgin Mary in 1858. Over the years, miraculous healings took place there. Now people from all over the world go there to seek miracles. Friar Philip wanted to create this peaceful spiritual setting of Lords in Jasper. He wanted the Providence Grotto of Jasper to be unique. Friar Thad was given the job of picking the rocks. Only the best would do. They had to be beautiful, special, and unusual. Two shrines, the one of the Mother of God, the other of St. Joseph, were built. They were also flower pots, lamp posts, and walls added. Lights were hung above the Mother of God shrine to make high or nightly devotions more splendid. Friar Thad said, it's a beautiful to behold. The grotto took about 10 years to complete. Friar Philip worked on them almost every day, and by 1970, most of the work was finished. Now the grotto is open to the public. It was the Geo Grotto was built as a place of peace and consolidation. The flower beds and the shrines of the grotto grace more than half an acre of land and offer many places to sit, meditate, and pray. Much of its beauty comes from the unusual rocks that form the structures, hollow stones called geos that are plentiful in southern Indiana. Unassuming on the outside, geos contain quartz crystals, the glitter and shades of white, yellow, pink, and purple. Peace and consolation are the very core of the grotto's orig origin. The shrine was constructed in the 1950s by a priest come to terms with, his tr with a tragedy of his own. 
As a child, Father Philip Octavi, a member of the Sons of Divine Providence, a religious order was trapped beneath the rubble after a catastrophic earthquake took over 80,000 lives in his native Italy. Both of his parents were killed in the disaster for a long time. He had this anger towards rock. Whenever he would see rock, he would kick it. When he became a priest, he said, everything is God's creation. I know the rock is God's creations too. Father Philip constructed the grotto out of the objects of his anger and fear. After about a decade of work, he completed a large cave that recreates the Lord's Marina apparition and in France with a statue of Mary and the visions of St. Bernadette. Seven smaller shrines, two saints, flower-lined walls to pick the mysteries of the rosary. Two fountains and dozens of flower pots weigh as much as 2,500 pounds each. Members of the not-for-profit organization are continually on the grounds which require restoration after constant exposure to the elements. The group's next project is to estivate a tactile rosary imprinted on the wall that has been swallowed by the landscape. As restoration continues, these caretakers hope the shrine will continue to be a place of peace and refuse. Reprinted from an article in The Messenger, written by Katie Rudder, June 11, 2020. Absolutely beautiful. up in the geos line crystals all different colors they're absolutely beautiful whenever they're cracked open it was one of our favorite things as the as children growing up in southern indiana was to find a geo crack it open so we could see what colors were inside No farewell words were spoken, no time to say goodbye. You were gone before we knew it, and only God knows why. Now, if you can see on the bottom, each one of these Wow. I know I just keep saying wow, but this is remarkable. This is beautiful. go up this way. This is the way out. Oops. This is one of the exits. You see there's other on the actual church grounds, which of course is fenced off and you can't see. Fountain. Look at things, marvel. Oh my goodness. Wow. Marble crosses inside. Beautiful. The 
presentation. Another shell up in there. Look at that geo. Now we're coming on the other second half of it. Wow, such craftsmanship. Give you a view of everything. Wow, so peaceful. It's right in the middle of town, but this is just amazing. Kind of just a peaceful calm comes over you as you walk through here. Some anchors. Come up here and see what's on each side, looks like this was the gate at one time. And across in there. Star of David over here. Go back in and take you around the, the final side of it. Beautiful fountain. Just do a close up of it. No water in it right now, but it is a wishing well for you to toss in a prayer. Such detail, wow. Again, this is totally free. Bring the family down for a day. Get out there and explore the world without breaking the bank. There's so much to see and so much to do. Let's get back to making life great again. Here is the official plaque with the help of the community and those living at the former Jasper Providence home, Father Philip Octavia, 
created this beautiful shrine by hand, one geo at a time. According to Father Taddeus Stuckos, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, there were no blueprints, just inspiration. As you saw, it's, it's talking about how he was in the earthquake. Goodness. That's the side we came up. This is the other side of it. They are doing the flowers. It looks like they're gonna have some Heartland Really Red. Oh, look at that Geo. Here's a better view of the water fountain. And the benches. did this masterpiece with no blueprints, just imagination. Thank goodness for the dreamers. More lights for it to light up at night. I bet you this is breathtaking at night. Somebody's puppy saying, I hope you're enjoying it. He's right down the road in the car. <laughs> Sorry about the wind. I'm sure it's noisy. There's the back side of those. Of course, like I said, it is handicapped accessible. This is just beautiful. So beautiful. you enjoyed it ladies and gentlemen I sure did so get out there make life great again step off the road you never know what you'll find have a great day thanks for watching